we finally get to take a trip down there. After that awkward interlude. And it is in this like open area. I'm not sweating. Lips are tingling a little bit, but they're not. Fury asked me if I was gonna go a level up next time. And um, well, they don't have one. I'm gonna go level down. Ooh. Can't hang. All right, we just saw the house. Pros and cons. It's just a lot right now. And um, yeah, it's starting to weigh on me. So after a phone call and a Zoom interview because the trip got canceled, I guess it's reasonable because there was an ice storm in Nashville and they don't know how to deal with ice storms. That's fine, whatever. We finally get to take a trip down there. It's Sunday, I still have to work, but tomorrow's Monday and it's my day off anyway, so I'm gonna spend it in Nashville, interviewing and putting on my best face and putting on a suit again. So, <laughs> whatever. So far it's been a phone call, a lot of Zoom interviews, I don't know how many, and now a visit. And we'll see what happens if we even get the jobs. We did it, ready to go. Nashville time. Go to ourselves. I was supposed to sit in the aisle seat, but um, now I get to bother Kyrie all flight. <laughs> she doesn't care. She didn't even notice. She fell asleep on me while we were waiting for the flight. Um, our plane was delayed. Somebody broke the bathroom, so we needed a new plane. Great. Good work, guys. Two hour flight after dead in the queue. Fun. Welcome to Nashville. The local time is approximately 5 or 9. Alright, so we're in and we are ready for our interview day. We had a nice night out to dinner and obviously we were dressed and ready to go. A little colder than I thought outside. I don't have a jacket, but what are you gonna do? She does. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. But, I don't um, think so. I don't know if you heard it on the plane, because I'll figure it out when I edit this, but um, that's where we are. First set of interviews today went pretty well. We've already met most of these people on the, on the phone or Zoom or whatever. Yeah, but now actually getting flown down here and getting put up and now we have a break in the middle of the day just to kind of walk around and explore one of the areas. <laughs> so we're going to get donuts. We just went and got a barbecue and now we're going to walk half a mile or so in, uh, I don't know, 50 degree weather to get donuts. Let's have a show there. After a phone call, a Zoom interview, a visit, another Zoom interview, another phone call, and innumerable emails, um, yeah, we got jobs. And now the more terrifying stuff, going to find a house. Oh yeah, we leave in, uh, Two hours, like the flight is in two hours. So I have to go, bye. So we put an offer on one of the houses we looked at. We didn't get it. It went $75,000 over asking price. We saw another house that we really liked. We loved actually. And we didn't get it. It went for $100,000 over asking price. We put an offer on a third house that we had a FaceTime tour of, and it went $15,000 under asking price. Which makes us scared. <laughs> <laughs> but it went to us. So we bought a house, and that is real adult shit. Mm -hmm. And it is really terrifying when you see those giant numbers that you owe somebody. So we found a doctor's home loan and we are gonna pay for this house but first we have to go down there and hang out for the inspection so now I absconded from work a half an hour early and uh, changed my clothes and now we are on our way to Nashville to go look at the house we just bought for the first time yeah. the first one was not the nicest house. It was really open on the inside, but it was just like a big open area on the inside. But it had a giant backyard, which would have been lovely for the dogs. A big open giant yard. Yeah, a like, big open giant yard. Wasn't like anything in it. Right. 
the second house was a much nicer house house, but the lot was significantly smaller. This one has had a couple of different owners in the last 10 or so years, and each owner has redone something. So one owner redid the bathrooms, one owner redid the kitchen. Um, so it's pretty updated given that it's like an older house and it's pretty open given that it's an older house. And the lot size is pretty substantial. You know, we'll have to put in a fence like day one, but yeah, it's a nice happy medium, I think. Certainly there's still a lot to do to the house, but I don't know how many years we're gonna be in it. And I don't know how much money we have to <laughs> dump into the house. <laughs> You know, with uh, with the mortgage and student loans, and you know, it'll be a while until we all hit our RVUs to get RVU bonuses, and just kind of getting used to this new new spot and the fees for closing costs and this and that and the other thing. You know, these this money just adds right up, and I'm not looking forward to that. But we do get you know sign on bonuses. Kira gets her year-end bonus with her current job, and you know, we'll have a little bit of breathing room, but it's gonna be an iffy couple of months financially for the Herrings. I think that comes with buying a house and actually doing adult things, but. I feel like it's been like $500 here, $500 there. It's like, it's just like $500 for this, $500 for that. $500 here, $500 there. It quickly adds up to a few thousand dollars here and a few thousand dollars there. And that few thousand becomes many thousand very quickly. And if somebody, this guy, is still on a resident salary, that becomes a problem. Their credit card may take a hit, but... Hopefully not. Meh, what are you gonna do? So obviously we made it. Uh, we found this pretty cool open spot. Kire wanted hot chicken, so we'd heard uh, good but overrated things with Hattie B's, which is probably the more famous one. Um, but she found Princess Hot Chicken, and we found their food truck. And it is in this like open area. They have a brewery right here. It's called uh, Old Smoky or Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine. They have you know an active moonshine operation going on here, which is pretty cool. This outdoor area, it's pretty nice, and hot chicken. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Curie and I both got chicken sandwiches on the way. Curie got the medium one. Um, I got triple X, and when the guy who works there makes funny faces and funny noise at you when you order triple X, you know you're in for a world of hurt. But, you know, they have hot chicken, so I'm gonna have hot chicken. See how this goes. Probably poorly, but we'll see. Triple X one? No? Yeah, I told you it's gonna be a little hot. Yeah, gonna be a little hot. Alright. Can I grab a couple bottles of water? Don't worry, because you're trying to triple legs, get the water right there and be on me today. Oh, appreciate you. <laughs> Kyrie opened hers, the medium one, and says it already smells hot to me. And this is what mine looks like. Got a kick. Ooh. Looks like it's been bathing in ghost peppers for 30 years. Let's see how this goes. All right. Good luck to you, my friend. I don't know if you've heard her, but she says, good luck to you, my friend, and your intestines. What do you think? I'm waiting for it. It's like an afterpick. Find it at least. Yeah. It'll come later. Hmm. It's very, like, it's very chili powdery. That's nice, though. Oh, they were worried. I wasn't worried. I'm not worried anymore. It's gonna be nice. A little, little bit of a tingle, but... When we move here, maybe I'll need to turn this into a series trying to find the hottest fried chicken in Nashville. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I will say, I don't love it when it gets into my nostrils. <laughs> I will say, I have a psychotic tolerance to spicy foods. That which I very much enjoy almost killed her once when we were in Japan. But still, a lot of fun. Yeah, she almost puked on the plane. <laughs> Just so you guys understand, while I'm doing 
It's my second to last um, piece of fried chicken. You are currently resting on top of my water bottle. Fury asked me if I was gonna go a level up next time. And um, well, they don't have one. I'm gonna go a level down. Ooh. Can't hang. No, I will say my nose is watering. I'm not sweating. Lips are tingling a little bit, but they're not uncomfortable. Do you think that the hottest sauce you had on the hot, when we did the hot one stuff was hotter than this? Oh yeah, definitely. But I'm diarrhea. That's going to the video. Yeah, it is, 100%. Oh, the fun part of this one is it's gonna be stingy diarrhea. <laughs> I'm burning <probably> like a mother. <laughs> Can I try a piece of that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You want this last piece have a pole? Alright, this is the medium. Oh, the chicken's hot. Oh. Like, would you rather eat that as a sandwich though than this one? Mmm. Yeah, probably. Oh man, I'm getting heartburn like a mother. <laughs> Mm. Well, when we get out of here, we can stop at a Walgreens to get some Tums and a milk bag and a pen. Alright, we just saw the house. Pros and cons. Initially, pro, it has a big backyard and frankly has a bigger backyard than we thought it would be going to. That's my dad's call. It has a huge backyard. It's like a beautiful house, but there's like, there is a lot of work that needs to be done to it. And that's yeah. kind of like, it's like a little disappointing to like see how much like, you know, the house is so much money and it still needs like a lot of work done. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, like the closet in the master has to be like kind of completely blown out. There's like two closets right next to each other and a wall that kind of separates them. And I'm not sure why. And there's a window in one of the closets. Again, I'm not sure why. The, like the, the carpet needs to be torn up. The, all of the hardwood floor needs to be redone. Um, the inspection came back okay though. Like not, not too much on the inspection. And he was like, I'm really surprised that this is like a good inspection for. Um, how old uh, the house is. Yeah, how old the yeah, house yeah. is. Uh, yep. And it's a really, it's in a really nice area. It's so close to work. Like I could probably like rollerblade to work. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but so the, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a garage, it's got the carport. It's got the carport, yeah. which could, I think could easily be turned in. You just put some walls on that thing. It's like pretty sturdy out there. Yeah, there's not enough room on the property itself to put anything more than a one car garage on either side of that house. Okay. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll, we'll go through the, you know, we'll go through the inspection report and we'll, we'll, we'll continue to think about it. And you know, we'll, we'll see what we come we up with. We have five days. We have five, five business, business days. days. Well, long trip and a lot of waiting, huh? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, long trip, a lot of waiting, and a lot more waiting. And then you can go to the airport and do some more. How fun. Yeah. So we're in the airport. Um, it is now hitting me how much I would like to do to this house. And it's adding on to the things I already have to do for the new job, for the new state licensing, for onboarding, for this and that and the other thing. Um, I have a couple of social media deals kind of in the works. It's just a lot right now. And um, yeah, it's starting to weigh on me. It's starting to kind of add up and really starting to become bothersome. So I think I may end the video here. And um, if some new stuff comes up, I'll certainly keep you posted. For now, I don't feel great. I feel stressed. I feel overwhelmed. Kiri has been great, but, you know, she grounds me as best she can, but sometimes my mind just runs away with stuff. It's tough after a while, so. Yep, just add one more to the issue list. That's fun. I'll keep you posted, but. Ah. <sighs>